Yo, what's going on boys? In this video, I'm gonna go through some drills and training methods to bring your crosshair placement to the next level. Whether you're on keyboard or controller, these drills are gonna help you out. I'm not gonna waste any more time, so let's jump straight in. We're gonna start off simple with some infinite quad edits. Practicing these with a slightly lowered speed is a great method to train your crosshair placement and maintain your mechanics. Focus on keeping your crosshair under full control and consciously try to only move your mouse or joystick where it needs to go. If you struggle at first, don't be afraid to lower the speed of the map and set a pace that allows you to learn the timing and build the consistency. Next, we've got the basic Mongo Classic. While you're doing these, keep your crosshair head level. The next play you make after a Mongo Classic is usually a pump shot. Building the habit of a head level crosshair in creative is going to transfer over to real games faster than you can imagine. And if you're on new binds, this is also an efficient way to learn them. I hopped on controller for this example just to showcase how much easier these drills are than they look. I had to slow down the map a bit since my main input obviously isn't controller, but these triple edit downs and triple edit ups are the drill that improved my crosshair placement and transformed my mechanics the most. The key here is making sure not to confirm your edits too late and making sure that there is no gaps between your edit downs and edit ups. After you're done, your row of edits should look like this. This next drill is one most of you guys have probably seen Polarize do, since at normal in-game speed, this doubles as a high ground retake. While practicing this drill, your goal should be to edit every single tile and be as precise as you can. Once you have the timing down, start implementing this into your own build fights. This next drill is one that all pros abuse to help win their fights. By positioning your crosshair slightly above the top of any wall, you can drag your cones across the top and block people off. Start fully grinding this drill so that you can use this in your fights and improve as a player. Going into this next drill, you have to stay under full control of your crosshair. This is a very awkward angle to edit at and it will instantly punish you for bad crosshair placement. Try to be accurate and limit mistakes. This tunneling exercise is incredible for crosshair placement and for learning new binds. Try to place every build and move through this exercise as fast as you can with minimal mistakes.
Now we're going to jump into a new map that has a section fully dedicated to crosshair placement. Go through these wall edits and fully make sure you have tight and rigid crosshair placement. Actively try to have an incredible amount of control and be deliberate with your tile selection. The ramp section can be a little bit more of a challenge, but everything I've said about the wall section still applies here. Thank you for 1k subs, and I hope you guys enjoyed part 5 of this Road to Pro series. If you're looking to surround yourself with other players who are grinding to get to a pro level on the game, click the link in the comments for an invite to my competitive friend group where we all push each other to improve. The face reveal will be in the next one. Peace.